Hello everyone, my name is Kirill. You are on the Audio Advisor channel. Sometimes it happens that your car starts to burn oil, and there are a number of technical reasons for this. Some of them are pretty normal, and some of the reasons means that something is broken. As you know, the main purpose of oil is to lubricate engine parts. So if the engine starts to burn oil, then it disappears somewhere. How many ways do you think there are where oil can disappear? Well, there are only two of them. And so, the first reason where oil can disappear is leaks from this closed lubrication system. The reasons for leaks can be different. It can be gasket, some kind of oil seals, piston rings, valve seals, or you can just physically pierce the bottom, or more precisely, the engine sump, and oil will flow out of it. The second option where oil can disappear is when it enters the combustion chamber for one reason or another. When the oil enters the combustion chamber, it simply burns there, then enters the exhaust pipe and is removed along with the exhaust gases. In this case, you can see the characteristic black-gray smoke and there is also a certain smell. To be honest, there is another but rare case when oil can enter the engine cooling system. This is when the tightness of the engine gasket is flawed and the oil enters the cooling jacket. And so, let's go through the first case scenario, when oil leaks occur. Then what can be damaged in the car? As I said, the first thing that comes to mind is damage to the engine pan. By the way, this is why the so-called engine protection is installed on the engine from below, so that stones and other objects that can damage it do not get there. Another common reason for oil leaks is the wear of the engine gaskets, or for example, worn valve seals or piston rings could lead to your car burning oil. Also, gaskets of various sensors and other mechanisms that are installed on the engine can lead to your car burning oil. Also, we should mention the wear of oil seals or cuffs that are usually installed on shafts. This can be camshafts or an engine crankshaft. A separate problem is the turbo, of course, only if it is installed on your engine. Over time, its seals also wear out, so oil from the turbo can enter both the intake and exhaust manifolds, and also some leakage can occur from under the turbine, sometimes even visually. To simplify, all these leaks, depending of course on the degree of oil consumption, can be detected visually and will eventually manifest themselves. That is, if you lift the hood, you'll see that the engine, for example, is all covered in oil or a turbo covered in oil, or you would see that some sensor is leaking. In severe cases, you can even see puddles under the car. Now let's talk about how oil can get into the combustion chamber. Usually, in this case, the cylinder piston group wears out. The cylinders move inside the engine, usually up and down. So there are oil scraper rings there, which should scrap the oil off the cylinder walls and send it back to the crankcase, and when they wear out, gaps appear between them and the oil enters the combustion chamber. In this case, the engine usually has bluish-black smoke, and some also determine this by the characteristic smell of exhaust gases. What to do in this case, when the cylinder piston group is worn out? Usually, it is necessary to do the so-called overhaul, that is, it is necessary to change all the rings, oil scraper, compression, and sometimes even to grind the engine itself or bore it. For you to understand, the moment of overhaul of the engine depends on its design and how it has been operated. But in general, we can say that it should be approximately at a run of 300,000 kilometers. Another case of how oil can get into the combustion chamber is a problem with valve stem seals. At the top of the engine, there are usually valves that also move. And these valves have a special seal called the valve stem seals. Over time, they wear out and oil begins to enter the combustion chamber.
Replacing valve stem seals is a cheaper option, of course, than engine overhaul. But if you try a BMW or Mercedes, it will still cost you about five to six hundred dollars. Actually, there is another cool moment when oil can burn out without getting into the combustion chamber. There is an engine design where oil is used to cool the pistons. So a special nozzle sprays oil from below onto the piston to cool it. But since the piston can be very hot at high loads, when oil gets on it, it burns out again. So this engine will also have a certain oil consumption. But this is not critical since this is its technical feature. That is, this oil consumption, one might say, is incorporated in its design. It turns out that this type of engine consumes oil directly from the factory, directly from the assembly line, since it has piston cooling from below. For example, there is a 1.8 Volkswagen gasoline engine that eats this oil straight from the assembly line. In general, we discussed all the reasons and possible options for why the engine burns oil. But then I remembered the crankcase ventilation valve. This valve is responsible for regulating the pressure inside the engine. When the piston moves up and down, various pressure drops are created. And when this small valve, for some reason, is clogged, the engine will start to expel oil from the inside to the outside. In this case, there will be oil leaks, usually under the oil seals. In addition to the discussed above cases, there are other reasons why an engine can increase its oil consumption. I mean, it can be aggressive driving, it can be engine overheating or poor quality oil. And now about the numbers. For every 10,000 kilometers, the engine should burn no more than one liter of oil. But if the consumption goes beyond these limits, then it is necessary to diagnose the problem and eliminate the increased consumption. Because if you close your eyes at this point, then you can just completely kill the engine. And so, conclusions. Engine oil is an important component. It's like the blood of an engine. So at least once a month, check the oil level in your engine. For this, you usually need to open the hood, find the dipstick, get it out and see at what level oil is. On some cars, only check the oil on cold engine. For some, when the engine is hot. Some do not even have this dipstick, so you need to find on the dashboard where there is an oil level gauge. In general, this is all that I wanted to say about oil consumption. I hope that this video was useful for you. It was the Auto Advisor channel. All the best to you and see you again.